Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley Lad. <laughs> Alright, in today's video, we're going to give you nine of the luggage guidelines that Carnival Cruise Lines recommend once you get on board their ships. Also, we're going to show you the type of luggage that we take all different sizes mm -hmm. so you can get a general idea of what you can take. Mm -hmm. So, let's go ahead and get on into it. Let's go. All right, the first thing, luggage limits. What we're gonna do is give you what Carnival Cruise Line says, but we're also gonna give you the real. So for a three to five night sailing, they recommend that a person brings one piece of check luggage and a carry-on. For a six night or longer, they recommend that you can bring up to two pieces of luggage that you can check and a carry-on as well. Let me get, this the real. They ain't counting. No. And they don't care. No, nah, they don't count. The second guidelines that Carnival really don't hold us to, which is the weight and the size of your luggage. So their weight limit is 50 pounds. All right, the second part of that, as far as your luggage, we put a piece of luggage up here so you can see the side. So basically you can have it 16 inches high. Make which, sure it's laying down. Yeah, this flat. way. And then wide, no more than 24. And they want that so to make sure that your luggage can fit through the security scanner. All right, number three, carry on. I don't want you to overthink it. It can be a backpack, it can be a duffel bag. It could actually be a real true carry on roller bag, like yep. a piece of hard luggage or soft luggage. And once again, Carnival's guidelines, the real. <clears throat> they say it should not be over 12 by 12 by 12 in dimensions. The real, they don't give a buck. Besides if you <laughs> have a oversized cooler. So yes. that 12 by 12 by 12 really applies to coolers. All right, the fourth guidelines you want to know is the luggage tags. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you print these off on Carnival's website two weeks before your cruise. And the check-in process. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we always recommend that you do not staple that paper yes. to your luggage. We recommend that you use these. We love these. These are like, we'll link those down in the description. Number five, baggage service cutoff. What does that mean? You have until two hours before the ship sets sail to actually use the check, sir, um, check bag service. Yes. So if you show up an hour and a half before, just know that you're going to have to take on your luggage yourself. All right, the six guidelines that actually go right along with that one. Mm -hmm. If you arrive to the port by 1.30, you can give your bags to the porter right. so they can put your stuff up underneath the ship so they can get into your room. And then you just can get on the ship and go to the Lido deck, man, and get you a sandwich or a drink <laughs> or something to start getting ready to enjoy your cruise. Number seven, security screening. Make sure that you leave your bags unlocked. Number eight. Now, this one, we take this one very, very seriously. Very. Now, it's tipping the porter. On Carnival's website, if you go in there, they recommend giving you them a dollar a bag. We think that's BS. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're lifting up on them heavy bags. They're making sure that our stuff gets safely to our room. We give them more than that. We, we Our minimum is 20 bucks. So make sure that you take care of the porters. Mm -hmm. They are so nice, so respectful, so yes. professional. Matter of fact, we have not met a porter mm -mm. that has gave us attitude, no. have not said anything out the way to us. Matter of fact, when you show up, you think they get ready to get on a cruise with you. That's how I excited mean, they are. And another thing that I want to add to this, this is a question that we get almost every video. Is it necessary that you check your bags with the porters on the curb? No. No. Number nine, the prohibited items. Yeah, All right. man. Now, these are things that are rules. <laughs> that is, this yeah. is not the real. Yeah, these are, are the rules. rules. Okay? Yeah, you got to follow these. The first thing we want to talk about is an iron. Don't bring your iron. There are, on most ships, there are iron stations. Mm -hmm. If not, you can send it to go get pressed. If you've been watching our videos long enough, you'll know that down in wrinkle release. Yes. And putting mm -hmm. your, hanging your stuff in the shower works wonders to yeah, get your do. wrinkles out. The next thing is a steamer. You cannot bring a steamer on board. They will take it. THC, CBD, none of that. Can Any be type of narcotic. No <laughs> type of narcotic, but we're going to talk about the ones that y'all always asking about. Can I bring my CBD um, vape pen? No. no. You can bring a vape pen as long as it's nicotine based. Yep. Or just flavor based. Doesn't matter if you have a medical um, ID card, medical um, card, doesn't matter. Don't matter. Doesn't matter if it's legal in, in your state. state. Doesn't matter. It is not legal on the... On C. On C. C. Yeah. Hookah. Nope. No hookah. Handcuffs. 
weapons or anything that could be deemed as looking like a weapon, okay? <laughs> liquor. Yeah, no, no, no hard liquor. liquor. So you can bring a bottle of wine. If you've been on here long enough, you know we said it. One bottle of wine per adult, um, 750 milliliter or less. Anything over that, they will take it. You can bring champagne of the same size as well. Bottled water, hard no-no. Because nope. guess what they think is in it? Liquor. <laughs> <laughs> but you can bring cartons and cans up to 12. And then also there is more prohibited items that we mm -hmm. did not name here, but we're gonna link the uh, link to Carnival so you can see all so the rest of the stuff. All right, now it's time to show y'all the luggage. That's big baby right yeah, there. Yeah, which is the level eight. Now, usually when we take this one, we put both of our luggage in here because this mm -hmm. thing is very nice, very good size. Level eight is actually our favorite luggage. Mm -hmm. Also, in the comments, put down what's your favorite luggage. Let's take it. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy and take a look in here and show you what we love about the inside of the level eight. All right, what I love about this is the fact that there are not too many pieces of luggage that completely zips up on right. both sides. On both sides, yeah. Usually it's one side and then with the extra. And all of her stuff can get on this side and all of my stuff can get in on this side, man. Yep. And it just makes life so much easier with one piece of luggage. Yep. And then it has these two storage things right here that we all just... So typically we would take this one on a five day? Um, um, five, seven. Five or seven day. Level 8 is actually on Amazon right now. So mm -hmm. like this big one plus a 20 inch one that we're going to show y'all in a minute is going for 389 which I think is one heck of a deal for Level 8. they last. Yeah, they last. And that level late was a 28 inch um, luggage. So this is another 28 inch one that we too long haven't got. This is actually on um, rock land. Rockland. Yeah, so Rockland. I said that wrong. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look inside this one. All right. So as you can see, you get what you pay for. This is more of your budget friendly piece of luggage. And yeah. I got this because when I'm doing group trips, I have a lot of merch to bring along with us. Yeah. So a lot of times I just want to put all the merch in one place, um, swag bags in one place. So this is usually what I take for that. And then they have the little stories right here. Yeah. So again, this one is a 28 inch and this one is running on Amazon right now for $87. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we get ready to move to the 24 inch. Mm -hmm. All right. So hey girl, 24. This one is a Samsonite. Samsonite is our second favorite piece of luggage. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside this 24 inch. All right, so this is what this looks like. You can definitely see it's a better quality of, than the previous Rockland. Um, just one pocket, then you have your extra on this one as well. So this will be for a, a, a longer than five days. So this would be like a, five. Yeah, yeah, up to five. Five, six days. Um, but this particular one, we actually got this one from Marshalls, mm -hmm. so I could not find it online. I tried my best, but we are going to link a one that's kind of comparable. Yeah. Um, that's a 24 inch by Samsonite, and that price was like 159 on Amazon right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the other level eight one that goes with the big 28. So this one is a 20 inch. So this is the one that we will do carry on only for a cruise that's five days or less. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look on the inside of this one as well. All right, so just like the big piece of luggage, look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful. Yeah, like, the two things. This yep. should be the standard. Like I said, this is a one that Stanley could do his carry-on only packing in. And the reason that I say this is because this does not have the extender yeah. zipper that actually allows for it to have a little bit of wiggle room. And we'll show you that a little bit yeah, later. Yeah, we got one that's like that, yeah. Yeah, so he's able to pack a little bit more lightly than I can. And a lot of men love this piece of luggage. Yeah. Like I said, on Amazon, they got the 28 inch um, one to go with this one, which this one is 20 again, for 389 for both of them. All right, here is another level eight bag. The bag that made us fall in love with level eight. So let's go ahead and crack this one open so you can see this one as well. But before he does that, this is the difference with this one. The extender zipper. Yeah. Yeah. So it's small mm -hmm. and then it just gets big. Then it expands like that, yeah. All right, All right so before we even get into the inside, what I love about this piece of luggage, what made me do the investment, mind you, I didn't know about level eight quality before I bought it, but I love the fact that they had this compartment right here yeah, that man. can house 
all of your things, your your iPad, if you want to bring that, your MacBook, yeah. passport, mm -hmm. documentation. So if you're going to use this on a cruise, like as your carry-on bag, you can take all your documentation and throw it in one of these little folders right here. And yep. then as soon as you go through security, just unzip, open, pull it out, and go on about your business. The inside of this. So... We will say that level eight dropped the ball with the complete zipper on this side, but this right here, I'm not mad at. Yeah, it still it still works. It still yeah. makes everything tighter. Yeah, right. Over there on that side. And it still have these too, so you you can push it down with these and then and then secure. lock it into place. Yep. So also on this side, like I said, the complete thing over here. So keep in mind, like the inside over there. Yes, you can put stuff on the inside, but it will start to fill in on this side. All right, so right now this 20 inch one is going for 139 mm -hmm. on Amazon. So yeah, we think it's a very good investment. That, but let me show them mine because this is this is the queen. Yes, mine is the black one. All right, and lastly is our actually carry on backpacks. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the queens first. So y'all go crazy over this backpack, and yeah. when I say it's so old, but it doesn't look old. Nah, <laughs> um, it's actually what they called a nursing bag. I think is what they call it, and I liked it because the one thing I hate about a backpack is not being able to really see what's going on on the inside. So when I say look, it's deep. Then you have this pocket right here, which I also love because. I have a whole, like when I say this thing you is got, packed. Yeah, you got it packed down. I got buddy. it packed down. I can attach my charging brick to this, my uh, remote charging brick, and can charge my phone from the outside of my pack, of my bag. I keep my reusable metal telescopic straw. I need to do mine like cat mine. So that I can just keep up with it. <laughs> but other than that, it's a pretty well, simple bag. Well, show them this straw just in case they've never seen it before. Oh, okay. So this is a telescope straw. These are these are game changer right here, y'all. Yeah, so this is the cleaning brush that comes with it. And this is the straw, so. Yep. Now for my bag. So let's take a look. So we got storage on the front here. Then we have storage right here. We got more storage right here. So this one actually has an expandable thing too. So you see it expands so you can see the handle like that. Now there's more storage back here. All right, and this is one of the ones, parts that I'm really like. So as you can see, there's some crude stuff in here. So that's, I love how they have this. And then back over here, they have a little compartment that you can put your shoes in. Right back here, but I got my, I got my uh, Beats in there. <laughs> also like the Queen's bag, it actually has USB port so that you can charge a USB and a USB-C. All right, if you have enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video on the screen with a pack with us for a six-day carnival cruise, and we're going to see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.